I've gotten a good number of comments and messages from people complaining about sagging skin, wrinkles, fine lines and all that. So in this video, I'll be talking about how to firm your sagging skin and reverse aging. I'll be giving out useful tips, information to help you out, to help firm your skin. Well, hello everybody and welcome back for another video. My name is IJ. If you're new here, please do well to hit the subscribe button. And if you're really interested in this video, don't forget to give me a like and keep watching. Now the major cause or the main reason for sagging skin is aging. So it's normal for you to have sagging skin if you're getting older. Besides aging naturally, there are other factors that affect your skin and promote aging process. And these factors are mostly from the environment, like from the sun and pollution, and also from lifestyle choices like the food we eat and how well we take care of our body. So sagging skin occurs when there is a loss of elasticity in your skin. The more your skin loses elasticity, the more your skin sags. Now, um, just think of it as a rubber band or an elastic fabric the more you stretch it out the more it loses its elasticity if you stretch it to a point where the elasticity becomes broken it's going to lose the elasticity and to regain that elasticity is often difficult or nearly impossible once the skin has lost its elasticity you cannot restore the exact same elasticity to your skin. You can try to improve it, but you cannot restore it 100%. You can only do so much. But to bring it back to the exact state where it was before the elasticity was broken, it's not possible. You can only improve it. And you also notice that with stretch marks as well. When you gain weight drastically, your skin expands. The elasticity of your skin expands. When your skin's elasticity gets broken, you notice stretch marks. Stretch marks are one major symptom of a broken skin. So you can do a couple of things to help improve the appearance of your stretch marks or to help fade the appearance of your stretch mark but you cannot completely get rid of stretch marks you cannot completely get rid of stretch marks I have stretch marks here myself on my shoulders my waist like almost everywhere on my body I've done things to help improve the appearance of my stretch marks but there is nothing that would help to eliminate your stretch marks completely because your elasticity is broken you can only do so much to help improve the quality of your skin's elasticity but there is nothing you can do to help restore it a hundred percent that's what happens to sagging skin when you have sagging skin there's only so much you can do to help restore your skin's elasticity but you cannot reverse sagging skin a hundred percent so what you want to do is focus on using skincare ingredients that will help rebuild your collagen it is your collagen that helps to keep your skin's elasticity intact when you have strong collagen or improved collagen you're going to have a stronger skin elasticity so this video is more about skincare ingredients that would help to rebuild and strengthen your skin's collagen that way you'll be able to reverse and slow down aging while rebuilding your skin's elasticity to help give you a firmer looking skin. So what you want to do here is focus on collagen rebuilding or collagen strengthening skincare ingredients. That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. The first tip is to properly cleanse your skin. Whenever you want to start a routine, whether your facial routine or your body routine, you need to properly cleanse your skin. Make sure you're double cleansing your skin, both your face and your body. Make sure you're using a pre-cleanser and make sure you're using a body wash. Cleansing your skin properly is going to help get rid of oils and dirt. And you're doing this because you want a better absorption of the skincare ingredients that you'll be using later on. You want a better absorption of the treatment. You want a better absorption of any skincare ingredients that's going to help rebuild collagen. Because for you to be able to rebuild your skin's collagen or strengthen your collagen or elasticity, you have to use actives. You have to use treatments. So to give your skin a better chance of absorbing those actives and making those actives work effectively, you need to properly cleanse your skin. You can't be applying actives or treatments on a skin that isn't cleansed 
properly so for your body you can do this by using pre cleansers like antiseptic bath soaps and then going in with your body wash before your treatments for your face of course you can do this with a micellar water cleansing balm or cleansing oil and then going in with your actual face wash this is going to help cleanse your skin properly and prep it for the active ingredients the second tip is you want to use exfoliating skincare ingredients you want to use exfoliating acids and specifically i'm talking about retinoic acid i'm not talking about beta hydroxy acids or alpha hydroxy acids i'm talking about retinoic acids i'm talking about vitamin a like retinol or tretinoin these are going to help exfoliate your skin now because you're looking for ways to rebuild your collagen to help strengthen your skin's elasticity you want to look into exfoliating acids that will help to exfoliate your skin slug off dead skin cells and prompt new skin cells to surface while rebuilding your skin's collagen and when it comes to skincare actives that are so good at rebuilding the skin's collagen it is retinoic acid your retinol your retinal your retinal they hide um, your tretinoin these are a group of vitamin a derivatives that helps to rebuild the skin's collagen so this is what you really want to focus on because not only is it going to take care of your acne if you're having body acne or if you're having dark spots and hyperpigmentation it's going to help boost promote collagen production that way it's going to help firm up your skin and reduce that sagging reverse aging while making you look youthful and radiant so you really want to focus on retinoic acid specifically specifically because the reason why you want to focus on retinoic acid is because compared to other exfoliating acids retinoic acids work deeper into the skin they go deeper into the second and the third layer of your skin to fix your skin other acids like beta hydroxy acids and alpha hydroxy acids they mostly work on the top layer of your skin your epidermis but retinoic acids go deeper into your dermis and your hypodermis to help rebuild collagen and strengthen your skin see when your skin is sagging or you're experiencing wrinkles fine lines or even stretch marks it doesn't happen at the topmost layer of your skin that's not where it happens it happens at the second and third layer of your skin that's where you have your skin's collagen so using exfoliating acids like bhas and ahas isn't going to do so much for you they are only going to work on the topmost layer of your skin if you want skincare ingredients that will go deeper into the skin layer and rebuild collagen you want to focus on using retinoic acid for you to find out what retinoic acids work for you, you can start from the lowest, you can start from retinol and then you can work your way up to tretinoin. You can choose to do this twice a week, three times a week or even once a week depending on how your skin's tolerance is or you can start from once a week and then build your skin's tolerance as you go. Third tip is you want to hydrate and moisturize your skin. I had to group these two together because I didn't want to separate it making the video so long but you want to focus on hydrating and moisturize your skin. Keeping your skin hydrated and moisturized is going to help maintain your skin's collagen. One of the things that promotes aging, wrinkles, fine lines and sagging skin is dehydration especially when you're not using hydrating products or moisturizing products and when you're not drinking a lot of water not doing these things is going to cause your skin to become dehydrated dry cracks it's going to promote loss of collagen making you to lose your skin's elasticity promoting more sagging more wrinkles more fine lines so you want to focus on doing things or focus on skincare ingredients that's going to help boost your skin's water level that is going to help boost your skin's hydration now you want to focus on ceramides peptides either copper peptides or collagen peptides you want to focus on using hyaluronic acids these things are going to help boost your skin's hydration keeping you moisturized and maintaining your skin's collagen now the last and final tip you want to focus on is protecting your skin you really want to protect your skin from sun you want to protect your skin from uv rays because free radicals from uv rays will break down your skin's collagen making you to lose your skin's elasticity so you want to use spf broad spectrum spf to protect your skin and help neutralize free radicals from breaking down your skin's collagen the last and final tip is to use antioxidants now i put this last because i wanted to talk about sunscreen and retinoic acids first now, using antioxidants in your routine will help boost the performance of both your retinoic acids and your sunscreen. 
Antioxidants are basically agents that prevent oxidation and oxidation is one of the first phase of collagen breakdown. When your skin is vulnerable to free radicals caused by pollution or UV rays, using an antioxidant is going to help protect your collagen and neutralize those free radicals, preventing them from breaking down your collagen so that you can maintain your skin's elasticity. That way you slow down and reverse aging and prevent sagging skin. Now, three antioxidants that you really want to look into is vitamin C, niacinamide, and glutathione. These are amazing and effective antioxidants that can help to boost the performance of your retinoic acids and your sunscreen. So the best way you want to do this is you can pair your retinoic acids with antioxidants but do not pair vitamin c and glutathione with retinoic acid because they don't pair well together they don't work well together you want to use your vitamin c or your glutathione in the morning and then use your retinoic acid at night time but with niacinamide you can pair niacinamide with anything with any active ingredients with any retinoic acid so these are the five main things you want to focus on when it comes to preventing sagging skin, preventing wrinkles and fine lines, reversing or slowing down aging. These are five major things you want to focus on, whether it's on your body care routine or your skin care routine so that's it for the video i hope you guys found it helpful if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already also share this video to help someone out the links to my socials will be in the description box below thank you so much for watching i'll be seeing you in the next one bye